Up next, we have Big T wandering the dangerous streets of Portland with the Guardian Angels. If something pops up and you got a problem, you can turn to them for help. So check it out. What's going on, Pirates? This is Big T here with the uh, Portland chapter of the Guardian Angels. I'm here with uh, Tom. He's the chapter president. Tom, what uh, you know? Tell us a little about the Guardian Angels. What is it? What is your mission here? Uh, the Guardian Angels is a all-volunteer nonprofit group that uh, patrols high-crime areas to act as a visual deterrent to crime and violence. Mostly, we're focusing on the violent crime. And uh, how are you? How are you going about and uh, trying to prevent or thwart these uh, these violent crimes? Well, just by uh, being dressed up the way we are. Uh, acts as a visual deterrent. People, uh, criminals basically aren't looking uh, for problems. They're looking for an easy mark. And when they see people standing around that are willing to get involved and do something about it, then they tend to go elsewhere. Did you ever thought about uh, looking like the Gestapo or something like that? Something scarier? Because I mean, I like the berets and all. Yeah, we're not trying to intimidate everyone. <laughs> but uh, if we see something happening, we'll get involved. So how's your, how's your relationship with uh, the Portland Police Department and uh, law enforcement, you know, around here? Is it, is it good? Is it a positive thing? Yeah, we've always had positive response from the police. Uh, they've been real supportive when we call them and show right up. There's not any animosity between, you know, the, the two of you, like, you know, you're doing our job, why are you doing our job kind of thing? No, most cops say, uh, glad to see you guys out here. We need more of you. Lisa, you've been with the Guardian Angels for how long? 15 years. Because I was the chapter leader here back in the 80s and part of the 90s. Then I left to raise a son and have a family. And then I came back as soon as my son got old enough to understand what I do. What kind of training do you undergo for you know, becoming a Guardian Angel? All Guardian Angels go through a three-month training program. That program consists of martial arts, how to take a person down, how to break up a fight, and even how to talk to a person and reason with a person in a high in a high confrontation situation. You want to be able to reason with people that have accelerated to this point and bring them down. You do practice that, you learn it. It's also first aid, CPR, guidelines to making a citizen's risk, and the most important is patrol techniques because that's what keeps you alive. If I was attacking you, how would you subdue me? Like if I, if I like came and tried to grab your hand maybe? I but what I would do is I would have partners with me. Okay. I okay. have partners with me. Okay. So You're pretty good. You're pretty good at that. I'm okay. Tom, where are we headed tonight? I thought we'd hit the max throughout the Lloyd Center area. Do a little bit downtown, too. Lloyd Center, usually a uh, tricky area. You get a lot of, you know. Yeah, there's been some problems at Holiday Park and uh, between uh, the Rose Garden and Holiday Park. Okay. So we carry on a tradition that started in New York 30 years ago. They started their patrols on the subway, and it just became a tradition that when they step off the subway, they line up on the platform facing the cars, and as they go away, they turn and watch the cars until they're out of sight. And basically, it's just kind of a symbolic thing. It means that they're leaving the train the way they found it. And it's just something that we've carried over into Portland. Anytime when we're on patrol, of course, we want to be a visual deterrent, but we also want to protect ourselves. Anytime I'm looking or I'm walking around on patrol, I scan the crowd. I check for bulges. I check for anything shiny. That way I know they could possibly have a weapon. If I pass anybody and I see them grab their waist, they could possibly have a gun. So you keep that in the back of your mind. If I patrol and I see somebody, the same person pass me twice, that person could be looking me up and down. So you always keep a mental picture of people that walk past you because that way you're protecting yourself and your partners. Uh, we got uh, the Guardian Angel webpage, uh, Portland at guardianangels.org. And uh, phone number is 503-810-0860. All right, I want to thank all the Guardian Angels here in Portland. And uh, remember, they need volunteers. They need people to come help. Um, you know, they do this out of the goodness of their heart. They do this for you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Tom. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you were a Charlie's Angel, who would you be? Charlie. Touche, good sir. Touche. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, yeah, you got me. Okay. <laughs>